Hello, and welcome to this overview of Sunlight's groundbreaking hyperconverged technology. Over the next few minutes, we will look at the problems of deploying standard virtualization technology for demanding workloads in your core data center, in the cloud, and at the edge. Cloud adoption has become ubiquitous, and enterprises continue to migrate their IT services and spend to the cloud, be it public, private, or hybrid. New classes of applications such as drone monitoring, IoT-powered factory robots and genomic sequencing are generating a firehose of data, which increasingly has to be processed in real-time. This means that infrastructure requirements are becoming hybrid with processing now moving close to the data generation source at the edge of the network. In fact, Gartner estimates that there will be a shift from 10% today to 75% of enterprise data being processed at the edge within the next two years. Enterprises therefore are now having to learn how to build hybrid infrastructure, and how to adapt their initial cloud strategy to support edge and on-premise infrastructure as well. The good news is that hardware performance is increasing exponentially, particularly with the advent of fast flash storage and high-performance Ethernet technologies. Yesterday's virtualization software is no longer fit for purpose. It has not kept pace with the performance advances of the hardware and it can no longer process the data efficiently as is required by these modern applications. It throttles new fast storage and network hardware performance by over 70%. It is too bloated to run in constrained edge computing environments. And it necessitates massive overinvestment to achieve required performance. Sunlight has rearchitected this core building block, leapfrogging legacy virtualization technology. Sunlight takes advantage of near 100% of the hardware capability. Sunlight runs efficiently in constrained edge computing environments. That allows enterprises to slash IT costs and maximize workload performance. Sunlight enables critical high-performance cloud and edge applications today, with the potential to power the whole hybrid cloud of the future. The numbers speak for themselves. Sunlight can run on demand on hardware in the AWS cloud today. These benchmarks are comparing the performance of the same workload running on exactly the same infrastructure in AWS, and all these results are openly published on our performance.sunlight.i website along with the test methodology and the scripts required to reproduce the data. We're showing the performance here of some common software that drives applications like genome sequencing, e-commerce purchasing, media graphics rendering and many many others. As you can see, we're hitting a 2 to 3 times performance increase over legacy technologies on exactly the same hardware. This results in significant savings in enterprise cloud spend and huge performance gains for these and many other critical applications. So what exactly is the Sunlight product set? Sunlight is a hyper-converged software platform that removes the performance bottlenecks that are present in all virtualization software today. This is a fundamentally hard thing to achieve and gives us a significant advantage over our competitors. It is super thin, high performance and ultra secure and offers easy migration for VMware, AWS, and other workloads. Unlike other HCI technologies, Sunlight can deploy on the smallest embedded ARM server at the edge, all the way up to the largest data center servers in the cloud. Sunlight is also the ideal platform to run Kubernetes and Docker-based microservices, offering proper secure isolation, high availability and performance. The Sunlight Infrastructure Manager links the resources together into a hybrid pool, whether deployed in AWS, on-premise or at the edge. The Infrastructure Manager also provides motion of workloads and disaster recovery across clusters. Sunlight is consumed as a simple subscription, per server. The Sunlight Photon product is a plug-and-play storage appliance that allows you to deploy your NVMe storage disaggregated from the compute servers. This can be useful when existing servers are not NVMe compatible, or for architectural reasons. Sunlight Photon is available from selected Sunlight partners. So what is the Sunlight secret source that enables us to achieve this unfair advantage where others are failing? Fundamentally it comes down to the architectural vision of the lowest level of the software stack the Type 1, VMM virtualization layer. When we developed cloud technology 15 years ago there were two particular trends that simply didn't exist. First, direct attached high-performance storage and network devices. The fastest peripheral storage devices only required a fraction of a CPU core to process, added to which most storage was always centralized into disk arrays and accessed remotely. Second, 
hyper-converged infrastructure growth which leverages direct attached storage devices by offering software-defined distributed storage. No one envisioned the enormous growth in high-performance NVMe storage technologies and the virtualization platform was architected with isolated management resources in mind. Sunlight has fundamentally redesigned this architecture to be fully parallelized with a smaller footprint than even a bare metal Linux host can achieve. This means that we can run equally as efficiently on the smallest embedded mobile device on processor as we can on the largest Intel and AMD cloud data center servers. In addition, Sunlight has the smallest footprint of any HCI solution, meaning you can run more virtual machines on your cluster for the best possible density. With legacy platforms, you're wasting a third of your cluster's precious memory just running the HCI stack, meaning fewer VMs, lower density and higher costs. It also makes Sunlight perfect for constrained compute environments, like at the far edge, as it can run efficiently on lower power processors and won't hog all the available memory and CPU cores. So let's talk about some examples of customer use cases and how they are able to harness the power of sunlight to solve their problems. First, Lavazza's, a well-known European coffee manufacturer, is deploying micro data centers using sunlight to run high-performance Splunkic data analytics applications to aggregate IoT data from coffee kiosks in order to reduce the number of people required to maintain the machines. The second example is a large paper manufacturer that manages over 60 plantations of trees using drone technology to monitor the health of the trees. We are running a pilot with the customer to move the processing of drone image data to the edge, into the plantation offices, to significantly reduce the time it takes to analyze the drone data and trigger alerts. This will enable the local teams to quickly address issues such as weed growth which can reach up to a meter in under a week and would otherwise stunt the growth of the trees. The third example is the rendering of movies by production studios for services such as Netflix and Amazon Prime. With the advent of 4K moving to 16K graphics rendering quality, media production is moving into the cloud where compute, storage and network resources can be consumed on demand. An average rendering project can take up to six weeks to complete at a cost of many millions of dollars. Sunlight is bringing new efficiency to this cloud infrastructure, working with our partner Yonder Cloud to help these production studios to reduce their infrastructure spend by at least 50% and to reduce the time it takes to deliver results. To wrap it all up for you, here's what you need to remember. First, Sunlight runs high-performance workloads like AI and analytics with the highest throughput and lowest latency. Second, Sunlight delivers all the benefits of virtualization but with the same performance as running on a bare metal server. Third, Sunlight has a tiny footprint, making it perfect for deploying on far-edge devices. And lastly, Sunlight is easy to manage, with single pane of glass management across your entire Sunlight estate from the core to the far edge. Thank you for your time watching this presentation.